Keanu Charles Reeves, a Canadian actor known for his nobility in the Hollywood film industry, is a humble and down-to-earth actor who does not shy away from sharing his success with the co-actors and the crew of his movies. The gentle actor famously gave away most of his earnings from the blockbuster trilogy The Matrix to the special effects and costume designer team of the movie because he felt that they were the real heroes of the movie. He also gave away the opportunity to earn millions just so his production team could afford ace actors for his movies like Al Pacino for The Devil's Advocate and Gene Hackman for The Replacement. Reeves had an emotionally unstable childhood because his father left him and his mother when he was only three years old and his mother went on to marry three more times after that. He traveled along with his mother to Sydney, New York, and Toronto before he decided to leave for L.A. for good to start his acting career at the age of 15. Reeves has given many blockbuster hits like The Matrix. The Matrix Reloaded, The Matrix Revolutions, The Devil's Advocate, Speed, Constantine, etc. He is a recluse and tries to stay away from the media and enjoys ballroom dancing and surfing more than anything. He has faced many tragedies in his life like the birth of his stillborn daughter Ava, death of his longtime girlfriend Jennifer Syme and the death of his dear friend and actor River Phoenix. Recently, Reeves made his directorial debut with the movie Man of Tai Chi in 2013. Keanu Reeves was born on September 2, 1964, in Beirut, Lebanon, to Samuel Nowlin Reeves and Patricia Reeves. His father was an Asian-American geologist of Chinese and Hawaiian descent and his mother was an English showgirl. Reeves' first name means cool breeze over the mountains in Hawaiian language. His parents got divorced when he was only three years old. Reeves used to move around from one place to another with his mother and had many stepfathers. After his parents' formal divorce, Reeves and his mother shifted to Sydney, Australia, where she worked as a costume designer. In there his half-sister Kim was born and the three of them again moved to New York, while his father went to live in Hawaii where Reeves visited him until he was 13 years old. It was a matter of some time that his mother again married for the second time in New York to director Paul Aaron and they all moved to Toronto with him and attained Canadian citizenship. But only a year after, the couple split and Reeves' mother married for the third time in 1976 to a rock promoter called Robert Miller and Reeves' second half-sister Karina was born. She got divorced again and married for the fourth time in 1994 to a hairdresser called Jack Bond. All of this emotional instability and geographical vagrancy, Reeves and his sisters were mostly raised by babysitters and grandparents. He went to four different high schools, which included Etobicoke School of the Arts from where he was expelled, but he was not a very adhering young boy. He also attended schools like De La Salle College and the Toronto School for the Performing Arts. He dropped out of the college forever at the age of 17 and decided to take up acting in the movies as his career choice. In high school, he was never a very academic and studious young boy. He was more into ice hockey and dramatics. In 1979, when Reese was only 15, he acted at the Leah Poslins Theater in the stage production of Romeo and Juliet. After that he did his debut on TV with CBC television sitcom Hanjanin. In 1980s, he did commercials for big brands like Coca-Cola, short films like One Step Away, stage productions like Wolfboy, etc. In 1984, he also did correspondence for a TV youth program, Going Great, for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. In 1986, Reeves did his first drama film River's Edge, the movie showed a group of teenagers affected by a murder. After the success of this movie, Reeves got noticed and was offered more and more roles in the movies appropriate for his age, like Permanent Record. In 1989, he played the role of Ted Logan in the movie Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and in 1991 its sequel Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey came out. These movies did a lot of good to Reeves' career but also stereotyped him into a troubled teen. The media started to describe him as an idealist teen. 
In an effort to break his stereotypical image and move forward from the teen movies, Reeves played a young rich boy who spent more time with people from the lower strata in the movie My Private Idaho Opposite River Phoenix. The movie was very well received with the critics and worked well towards breaking his image as a spaced-out teenager. In 1992, he worked in the Point Break, which got him the MTV Award for the Most Desirable Male. Continuing to play serious and meaningful roles, Reese played the role of an unlucky lawyer who ends up into a vampire's burrow in Dracula in 1992. In 1994, it was time for Reeves to receive a well-deserved fame and position in Hollywood with the release of Speed. It made him a big-budget action star. He worked in the movie with already established actress Sandra Bullock. Even after the huge success of Speed he carried on doing more experimental roles and also accepted the offer for supporting roles as long as he felt that the role is meaningful and the script of the film is well-written. He was offered to do Speed 2. Cruise Control, a sequel to Speed, but he refused to do it even when he was offered around 11 million US dollars. Throughout the late 90s, he did movies like an American romantic drama A Walk in the Clouds in which he played the role of an army man who returns home after the war to settle down with his newlywed wife. It was an adaptation of an Italian movie with the title Four Steps in the Cloud. In 1996, he did Feeling Minnesota opposite Cameron Diaz, an American romantic comedy. Then it was time to do some big-budget movies like Johnny Mnemonic, a sci-fi released in the year 1995 and an action thriller called Chain Reaction released in 1996. All the movies that Reeves did after the great success of Speed did not do as well as one would have expected, but The Devil's Advocate in 1997, an American mystery thriller, escalated his career. He starred along with Al Pacino and Charlie's Theron. The movie did very well at the box office, and many film critics said that Reeves' acting skills were maturing with time. But there were still a few who thought that he could have done better. It was 1999 and Reeves' career was about to touch the heights with Wachowski Brothers' sci-fi, The Matrix. The movie did extremely well at the box office and Reeves' character Neo became an instant hit with the audience and the film critics. The success of this movie was used in making another two sequels namely, The Matrix Reloaded, 2003, and The Matrix Revolution, 2003. The trilogy performed as expected and did wonders for his career. He had now established himself as an actor with versatile talent and mature demeanor. In between completing the trilogy of The Matrix, Reeves did movies like The Gift in 2000, The Watcher in 2000, Sweet November in 2001, a romantic drama starring Charlize Theron opposite him, a comedy called The Replacements in 2000 and Something's Gotta Give with Jack Nicholson. None of these movies could really leave a mark on the entertainment world and Reeve was criticized for his acting skills. But Constantine in 2005, a horror thriller, did quite well at the box office and everyone again started talking about how good Reeves was. Again in 2006, Reeves' movie A Scanner Darkly, a sci-fi based on the novel by Philip K. Dick, did fairly well business-wise, but his much-awaited romantic drama The Lake House in 2006 alongside his Speed co-star Sandra Bullock did not quite work out for him and his career and left audiences and his fans feeling disappointed. His next few releases like Street Kings in 2008, the Day the Earth Stood Still in 2008 and The Private Life of Pippa Lee in 2009 did mildly at the box office. In 2010, Reeves did some low-budget movies like Henry's Crime and Generation Um and did a big-budget film as well, known as 47 Ronin. During the filming of these movies, Reeves did pre-production work on his home production and directorial debut, Man of Tai Chi, a movie inspired by the life of a famous stuntman and his friend Tiger Chen. Man of Tai Chi was premiered at the Ken Film Festival and the Beijing Film Festival and was admired by John Wu, director of action movies, alongside being awarded in Beijing. In 2011, Reese produced a documentary on the replacement of the photochemical film by the digital camera technology called Side by Side. 
He interviewed the ace directors of the industry like Christopher Nolan, James Cameron, Martin Scorsese, etc. In the same year, he wrote a book called Ode to Happiness with Photographs by Alexander Grant. In 1993, Reese was devastated and broken down by the death of his co-star and close friend River Phoenix. The two acted together in My Own Private Idaho in 1991. Phoenix died of drug overdose and it was rumored that both Phoenix and Reese experimented with drugs for the role that they were playing in the movie and Phoenix started taking drugs around that time only. In 2000, Reese's longtime girlfriend Jennifer Syme, a production assistant and part-time actress, delivered their still baby who they called Ava. The tragedy became the cause for their breakup, but both remained close friends even after parting ways. In 2001, just a year after the birth of their stillborn baby Ava, Jennifer was killed in a car accident while she was coming back from Marilyn Manson's party in her L.A. house. It was believed that she died because she was driving under the influence of drugs and prescribed medicine. This devastated Reeves, and he said at one of his interviews, grief changes shape, but it never ends. In 2008, it was said that Reeves was dating China Chow, a 38-year-old actress and daughter of restaurateur Michael Chow. He made a formal appearance with her during the Ken Film Festival. Around that time, there were photos floating on the internet showing Chow swimming topless along with Reeves in France. But they broke up soon after and Reeves was romantically connected to an actress called Parker Posey. In 2010, Reeves gained a lot of publicity on the internet when someone posted his photograph in which he is sitting on a bench and eating alone and he looks miserable. It was posted on a 4chan forum. It became viral on the internet and was soon famous under the title of Keanu is sad or sad Keanu. Reeves told The Guardian, when prompted to speak over the matter, it is hopefully transformative. The kind of thing that takes you from one place to another to look at yourself and you know, it can always be worse. I hate that sentence, of course it can always be worse. He was offered the role opposite Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in Heat, which he turned down because of his prior engagement as Hamlet at Winnipeg's Manitoba Theatre Centre in Canada. The role later went to Val Kilmer. Reese was a band made of the band called Dogstar and once did a summer tour with them in 1995. For The Matrix Reeves was selected for the role of Neo over Leonardo DiCaprio, Will Smith, and Brad Pitt. In 2001, Reeves' sister Kim was diagnosed with leukemia when she was only 38 and battled the disease for years. Reeves earned 150 million US dollars for the Matrix trilogy. It is said that he gave away most of this money to the special effects and costume design team because he felt that they were the real heroes of the movie who made it successful. Reeves only charged a million US dollar for The Devil's Advocate when he could easily earn more so that the producers could afford El Pacino for the movie. Also for The Replacements, he took a pay cut so that Gene Hackman could be afforded for the movie. Reeves is not a Buddhist, opposing to the popular belief, but he says that he is interested in Buddhism. Reeves is dyslexic. He was trained in martial arts before the production of The Matrix began. He considers his sister his best friend. His hobbies are horseback riding, ballroom dancing, and surfing. He was in the list of 50 most beautiful people in the world of People magazine in 1995.